Hey everyone, um, just trying to do a video here on how to use a tube, a CRT tube restorer. Um, this is the machine that I use at work. Um, we call it the tube zapper, but um, yeah, that sort of thing is, is fine. Um, this is a really easy to use uh, machine once you get the hang of it. Now a few things are, uh, for a normal color RGB tube, the heater has to be set to 6.3 volts. The 12 volt one, that's for black and white. And then it's pretty self-extraordinary. If you want to um, test for shorts, then that has to be down for rejuvenating and the emissions. So the emissions are like basically how much power the gun has left, um, if you think about it like that. Now you've got red, green, and blue, which is where you select each of the three guns. You've got a little meter here, and it tells you um, what it's doing, plus how good the guns are, and their grouping. Because it's not just having bright guns, you need to have a good grouping so that they're all close together. Uh, then you come over here, you've got your um, rejuvenator setting, so it, 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 stays, it stays up because I want emissions, I want to know what the tube is. The tube I've got this plugged into is actually a bad tube, it hasn't got hardly any red left, red is always having problems, so I'm just going to give it a quick zap. Uh, just to make sure. Uh, you got up and down here, this is for how many uh, milliamps to actually um, give the tube. Um, so yeah, so down uh, it's 50 milliamps and up it's 25 milliamps. Um, I normally use the 25 first and just see how we go. So let's turn this guy on. Yeah, just give it a sec. Oh, the tube has to be discharged. You cannot plug this into a tube that actually has um, voltage in it or you will damage the machine so yeah okay so that's gone out full scale so we click this one and it pushes the scale down so that's red so that's what between 100 and 200 so it's like 150 so let's see what the green guns doing so there's the green gun so it's pretty much in the same spot which is good now the blue gun Okay, it's a little bit less, but that's that's all right. That's that's not a problem. So what you do now, you can select the red gun. You have to have the rejuvenation setting, which is down. So you hit that, and then I'm going to hit it just with 25. So I'll leave that up, leave the scale. You don't want to adjust that, and then I hit the rejuvenation button. And this is where all the magic happens. So this is just doing the red gun. You have to do each gun at a time if you want to. I'm just doing the red on this one because I know the red is very, very low. Uh, and I've been meaning to give this a quick zap, but haven't got around to doing it. Um, so yeah. It doesn't take too long to do each gun, it's about a couple of minutes. Um, it's easy to tell because the rejuvenation light turns off uh, and then you know that you're all good. The great thing about this machine is that you can take a tube that has a gun that's really, really low or not even working. I've, I've been able to uh, revitalize a tube that had at least two missing guns. Um, so yes, I was very, very, very happy with it. Um, it is quite a simple machine. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to find another one of these for my own use at home. Uh, but someone will have one somewhere and I don't know, maybe eBay or not. So there we go. So the rejuvenation is done. So we want to go back to emissions. So that goes up. Um, we want five, which is down. And we're going to go back on red. Now I'll just go to green. Back to red. So we didn't get that much more out of it, which is not be surprised. It's basically where it was, uh, and that's that's what I um, you know expected it to be. Um, I was hoping to get a little bit more out of it, but it really hasn't moved a lot, um, which is a, a bit of a bummer. But that's how you do it, guys. Well, that's for the red gun. Obviously, you just select the thing and select which gun you want and do it again. Um, you can check for shorts. So this one here and. It tells you here which, if these light up, there's a short from, from on, well, obviously HK, G1, G2. Um, so yeah, but I know this tube doesn't have any shorts in it. Um, so that's why I never tested that. So yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Um, it's a really cool machine. 
Um, a must-have if you're running your own arcade, um, which obviously at work we are. Um, but that's basically it, guys. So that's how to use it. Now, other restorers will be a little bit different, but the main way that you do it and the principles behind it will be the same. So that's it, guys. Enjoy.